everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at Postman, what it is, why it's really cool. How you can get started using it, some cool stuff that you can do with it. So what is Postman? Or I should start actually with what are APIs, in case you don't already know. So APIs are... Oh, it's an acronym for Application Programming Interface. And I'll make this analogy for you. So say you're going, you're driving to... A burger joint, for example. And you go up, you go up to the first, the first window, and someone says, okay, what, what would you like to order? And you say, I'd like a burger and fries and lemonade. And then the person on the other side of the machine says, okay, that's $5. So you say, okay, you go up to the next window, you give the person your credit card, give them, you know, your, your $5 bill, whatever. And they give you back your credit card, they give you your change. And then you go up to the next window and then someone pops their head out and they hand you your burger, your fries, your lemonade, and you're all, you're all set to go. And that's basically what APIs allow you to do, but in a different context, which is, which is the application context, right? So you, you have your app that you're making and it does whatever, but then you need to be able to process payments. So instead of building a credit card processor yourself, you just plug into Braintree's API, or you plug into Stripe's API or whatever, right? You are building, I don't know, uh, a cooking app, right? And on the one hand, you could like write a million recipes yourself, or you could just plug into somebody else's recipe repository, which is actually one that we're gonna be looking at later, you just plug into somebody else's API and you can pull their recipes out. And so each of each of the, or I should say the, the transaction between yourself in your car, your app, interacting with the fast food store, with whatever they've got going on, burgers being grilled, lemonade being poured, you know, the, the window where you give them your credit card, the window where they give you your burger, that's an API. And so that's what we're going to be we're going to be looking at today. It's the handoff of information between different entities, different apps, between you know the customer and the burger company. Now, here's the thing about APIs: they're really great, they're really powerful, and they basically let you thread together a lot of very complex services in your app with very little difficulty. But the problem is when you're just getting started with with a particular API, for example say you're using this food to fork one because you want to get some recipes. If you're, if you're doing it for the very first time and if you happen to be new to programming or to web development, then it might be, it might be a little bit opaque what that handoff process looks like. And in a similar way, if you're building your own API, for example, and you want to test it, how do you do that? And so that's where Postman comes in. And what Postman does is it lets you strip away everything related to calling APIs. I should say, if, if in a normal context, you call APIs through your web app, Postman allows you to get rid of the web app and just make API calls and, and just focus on that piece of it. So it allows you to just focus on that one thing, right? Now, I love Postman. I think it's extraordinarily powerful. I've showed it to a bunch of my friends and they're all just like, wow, this is amazing. I am really excited to share it with you today as well. I think that what they're doing is very valuable and very admirable. I just can't say enough good stuff about it. So anyways, you can, you can go to getpostman.com to download it. Personally, I think I use the Chrome app. I'm sure that the Mac app is probably exactly the same. So, and this is what it looks like right here. So you have a couple things going on. You've got your history over here. These are the, the calls that I've made recently. For example, Kiva, which I'll show you in a second. Food to Fork, which I'll also talk about in a second. But then you can also see here the API that I'm working on for my company. I'm making post requests to this local server. And so that's really nice. You can, you can make all kinds of API calls and you can even do it to local ones like this. So I was hitting my local host port 3001 on the on the 
game's endpoint, basically. And, and that allowed me to test that endpoint without having to like also make a whole website that has the form that creates the request body and so on and so on. It's, that's a lot of overhead and being able to just do, just do the call itself is very, very convenient. So let me actually show you what, what a call might be. So one of my favorite organizations, I've talked about them in some other videos before, is Kiva. And they have this, they have an API that's, uh, that's actually available for anyone to use. And you can see that here. So if you, if you poke around a little bit, you will learn what the various endpoints are and basically this is the base URL api.kivaws.org slash v1 and from there you can check out loans, you can check out teams, users, whatever you want and for me in this case I want to see the loans and I want to do a search on that in a JSON format and I want to see loans now here are the two filters right that are in the US and currently fundraising. So I'm excluding loans from elsewhere in the world and I'm excluding loans that are either already funded, they're already paid back, and so on. I, I only want ones that are in the US for this query and I only want ones that are fundraising. And there are like a bunch of other ones and usually a website will have something like this where they say like, okay, here are the various endpoints that you can do. So you can get loans and then call it a particular ID. You can get your own account information. If you pass my slash account, for example, that'll show you your information. But for this particular query, this is what I want. So you can paste in this. You can pass whatever params you want in here. And then you go send and this is what comes back to you. It's and, and this is actually really nice also just visually the the JSON is pretty printed out here for you so it's like very easy to read. You can see this is a uh, you know here's the first the first set of information and then the loans looks like this is a this is an array and then within each one of those here's you know here's the first little bit of information and so on and so on so and and that's basically all there is to it there's a lot of other stuff if you're doing like more more complex stuff especially with authentication authentication is like really tricky sometimes and you can add that in here you can say like you know if you're using OAuth and whatnot there are headers that you can pass if you need to pass that. If you're doing other kinds of requests, say a post request, you can you can pass them in here key value key value, right? And and that allows you to test obviously posting, but but in the case of a get request, it's just passing params in the URL. So, I'll show you one more example before we go, which is this one. And this is the food one that I promised. So foodtofork.com, which is a recipe repository, it has or it gives you the ability to get recipes that have various kinds of or, or get get recipes that have particular ingredients. So in this case I said I want all ones that are pepperoni pizza related. And it came back in this gobbled up form, but there's the JSON version. And now you can see a lot, actually. So this is 30 records related to pepperoni pizza. And if you wanted to like go deeper into it, you could form another request that would go to, you know, say you were interested in pepperoni pizza burgers, which I definitely am. You can go here and it will show you what comes as a result of clicking that. Obviously, this is just an HTML page, so it's not going to be like 
particularly pretty, but you can you can extract information and go from there, get more details, and then hopefully eat a pepperoni pizza burger. <laughs> So that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a lot of fun with Postman, and I'll see you all in the next video.